Guys, I need to know where we are with the speed paint thing. Is everything on the roll? Is the quality as we expect? The colors, are they coming in? Are the PDT team satisfied with what they've seen so far? Etc. etc. If we look tired, it's because we are. Um, I got here Sunday night. It is now Wednesday afternoon and Thomas and I have been working morning till night uh, the past two nights. I want to take the time now to kind of catch up on where we're at with the speed paint expansion, our work with the paint development team, where the product is at today, where it's going. Um, I know that there's a lot of questions out there. People want to know when, and we're so involved in it that we realized, man, we should probably check in with our, our friends, followers, and customers out there. Yeah. And we had amazing proof of concept with the paint development team. How's it going with the colors and formulation wise? Have, have we, have we, uh, are we where we need to be with the formulation? We're still tweaking the, the formulation. The PDT discovered some issues with the, uh, with the new formula. And Good. Absolutely. Good they discover it. Yeah. That's why they're there. Yeah. Was it okay to fix or is it... Uh... We're trying to. We're trying to fix it now. Oh, yeah. uh, we are at the sixth generation of, of uh, resin base yeah. that we're trying out. We're still tweaking it. And yeah, we tested it. We found it to work perfectly, but they thoroughly they are grinding the yes. down. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what this is kind of the, do. the proof of concept of why we're doing the yeah. development team. It's so that you know, when we do something, we get real close to it, and sometimes we don't think of all the possibilities. So mm -hmm. we send it to them, and they they really put it through the meat grinder, and they let us know. They said these yeah. these couple things about this that really aren't up to our standards. It's not what we want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so we already got the first samples from the lab, and just the bones and they're tweaking it even more. Um, they yeah. were able to get something turned around overnight, which was great. And we were able to test it, send it back, and we're on the right track. Absolutely. Color-wise, where are we? So we have all the submissions of colors in. Mm -hmm. uh, Thomas and I yesterday spent the day mixing all of the colors uh, based on the recipes that the development team sent us. We had a few discrepancies in some of the colors. Um, oh so what they sent us in an image was one thing, and then what we mixed together from the recipe wasn't quite there. I mean, that's you're gonna have things like that happen. You know, miscommunications in the actual formula. But I think that Thomas and I were able to kind of decipher what was intended. So we would have been able to make that color and are able to make that color because they sent us picture references. Yeah. But there were some really, really great colors. I've seen only a handful yeah. of the ones I've seen, and there are some Definitely. surprises among them. There, I mean, I think, them, yeah. I, I, I think cool. the, the, there were about five colors between the whole team that surprised us, the pastels. I don't think any of us realized that we needed pastels <coughs> in the speed paint range, but they actually... That's why they're work. here. Yeah, Tell yeah, us. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Brent actually came up with a real clever thing and some really good feedback as well that really changed this project. You're talking about the practical naming Exactly. Yeah. yeah. This is an idea that Brent brought to the table and he's expressed frustration about um, the naming convention that, that we use. Brent basically said to us, I don't know what High Lord Blue is. What kind of blue yeah. is it? Um, so Brent said, I'd love to see some more practical naming conventions used. Now, we don't want to give up the fun names that we get to call our paints because that's part of who we are. It's part of the world that we live in. But we thought, what if we can combine the two? Is we're going to start also including practical naming conventions on all of our paints, starting with the speed paint range as soon as we can. We're using something called the IBCC NSC system, I believe is what it's called. It's an international system that you can use to describe colors. Absolution Green would be uh, a dark green, right? Um, you could also have a color like camo cloak, a moderate gray green, for example. Uh, and we're gonna publish all of that information. It's not just gonna be on the labels so that you at home will have an understanding of how we name the colors and what the colors could be used for. What I love about this, uh, you know, not just for the fact that it's making our products better, it's making the hobby more inclusive and more accessible to, to all hobbyists out there. I can't thank 
Brent enough. Uh, yeah, it's I, all because of the paint development team. Yeah, if, if we didn't do this, we and, and we didn't have these people to kind of, you know, kick us into gear, Brent, uh, Mike, Ben, and Dana haven't shied away about their opinions on anything, and I love no. that. Um, yeah. That's what we need, and that's how we're going to improve. Another thing, uh, I, I brought to you the idea of the practical naming from Brent, and that is already in the works. We have a full list of practical names already completed. Cool. We have it back to Brent for his review. It's a great idea. Yeah, we should definitely do it. Idea. Definitely do it. Well, I understood that the labels were already ordered in. I right. checked yesterday. The, old, yeah. the labels went bought. It's only for the first one. Right. Then from there on, we'll right. oops. <laughs> then, um, as soon as we can get it implemented, the yeah. next batch of labels will have all of the practical naming on it. I, I, I think it's great. I, it's it's been really positive. I mean, watching the the engagement, especially with Dana on Twitter, she's went wild every day posting something, and uh, a lot of insight from the the end consumers. You know, the people that are actually yeah. buying. That's, that was my next question because I could see the feedback. Yeah. Maybe like, just bursting. This whole thing of bringing in content creators to help us find first of all the flaws. Yeah. That, that might have occurred, yeah. uh, the oh. colors, and then all the extra stuff that they bring, because they bring their audience into the house of Army right. Painter. Yeah. And this is actually what I was hoping for, the fact that now we get feedback from the best out there on, 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 uh, on YouTube and all our gamers. Yeah. You can't ask for more. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's perfect. So what's next? What are the next steps? We want to finish the, the, the entire range of 90 colors. Basically halfway there. Halfway? You say halfway? Ish. Yeah, the next step for us is to mix up the colors that the, the paint developed team produced for us and try them on and actually picking out the, the ones that goes in the range. Uh, so we are actually putting these colors in the range. That's, we are that's, actually putting that's it. Not all of them, but we are, we are building the rest of the range with the colors that they've developed. Absolutely, we are. They did a fantastic job on, on mixing some new, very good colors uh, that fits really well with the range so far. Yeah, absolutely. Um, then we need uh, some production samples of those colors and we need to approve those colors. So we have some work ahead of us for, for that part. I'm, I'm actually looking forward to it. Uh, you know, this takes a long time and if you're sitting at home and you're wondering when are you going to get the new speed paints and you're excited about it, it might seem like it's taking forever, but it's pretty amazing how fast this guy and our team are able to work when it comes to, to making paints. You know, we don't have an announcement date or anything like that, and, and we're not going to release anything until it's absolutely perfect and ready for market. And first of all, I'm amazed at the, the work that you've put in and the rest of the team in, in developing this range, and especially the, the paint development team. I can't thank you enough. We can't thank you enough. And uh, we still have more coming, so definitely stay tuned. One last question that's quite important. We've talked about all the other stuff, so the colors, uh, now we're getting the formulation correct. How are we doing with the speed paint metallics? 